Hey y'all! So as you can see, my hair is dripping wet. And what I'm about to do right now is a wash and go using the Diva Curl Curl Elongator, the Super Stretch Curl Elongator. So in my last video, I mentioned that I was about to go get a Diva Cut. And this is basically me prepping to get the Diva Cut. So if you've never gotten a Diva Cut before, what you have to do before you go is to define your hair. So your hair has to be in its natural state which is basically a wash and go, I guess. So as long as your hair hasn't been stretched to any point, which kind of defeats the purpose of super stretch, but you get what I mean. So basically your hair has to be the way that it is when it's just curly without you doing a twist out or anything like that. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to section off my hair and then only thing that I really added, I sprayed my hair with water and then I spray it with oil and then I put the Diva Curl Super Stretch product on top of it. And then I go through and I try to define it. So watch and see what happens. Oh, funny story. So the reason why I am doing this, I actually ended up catching an appointment very, very late. I actually didn't plan to go exactly this day. But what happened was I checked the Curl MV website, which is where I'm going to get my hair done. And I saw that there was an appointment open early in the morning. Like, I've never seen that before. Usually you have to book an appointment, like, ahead of time. So I guess somebody canceled and I slid right on in. <laughs> so, yeah, I have my appointment. So now I am going to do this video and give you my, I guess, review on what I think about this product for a wash and go. So in the last video, I talked about how I wasn't crazy about the texture of this product. It felt like a gel to me. So I wanted to test it on a wash and go because usually gels kind of work okay in wash and go. I do have to say I absolutely hate gels. I don't use gel in my hair. I haven't used gel since I started transitioning um, maybe five, five years ago when I first started. So I'm still on the fence about the texture of this product but let's see how it works for a wash and go oh my phone keeps vibrating so i don't normally do wash and goes it's kind of a lot of effort on my thick hair i think for everyone it's a lot of effort to end up with super damp hair so this is probably the first wash and go that i've done in like four years and i don't know if i'm gonna do one again i might it gives you a chance to really go in and detangle your hair, but it's a lot of work. I don't like it. <laughs> As you can see, first I sprayed it with water and then oil, rubbed it through, and then I went ahead and I applied the product on top of it. I probably used way too much product, but again, I don't do this very often and I'm kind of scared that it's going to turn out crunchy. Well, since I'm recording the voiceover right now, I kind of already know how it turned out. <laughs> but yeah, I might have used just a little too much product. But again, that is why I'm not crazy about the texture of the super stretch. It made my hair look really good, but like you can see it's hard for me to work it in because it feels like a gel and it makes my hair just clump all up together. So I'm just going to continue this process all over my head. Right now I'm only doing one side but then I'll move on over to the other side. Your girl is tired. I'm finally done with the first half of my hair. And here is how it looks in the back. So it looks pretty elongated. I mean, I get super shrinkage as you can see, but it looks pretty long. Too bad it's about to get cut off with this diva cut, but it looks good. And now I'm going to move on to the second half. <laughs> here goes nothing.
just like magic, we are done, finally. I think it's probably going to midnight right now and I am tired. Um, basically, I've used the product all over my head and I'm going to go ahead and blow dry. I don't have a diffuser anymore. I used to have one, but I left it in China before I came back. So I'm going to use one of those concentrated nozzles and I'm going to blow dry. But it looks good. You see how I have a little mohawk going on? Is it mohawk? What's the party in the front? No, business in the front, party in the back. I have that super long pieces in the back. That's why I need this haircut. This is a pretty good stop in point for me. At this point, it's pretty much dry. It's about 85% dry, but it's gonna have to do because your girl is tired. You can see some of the products still in the front and still in the back, but it looks good. It looks elongated. It did feel crunchy, so here are some pictures of how it looks. I have shrinkage, but it's not as bad as it would be without this product. Compared to the twist out, I actually do like the wash and go with the super stretch much more than I did with the twist out. So maybe if you are like me and you don't like the gel texture in your hair, maybe you can use it for a wash and go. Now the price is, a, it's not a little steep, it's a lot steep. So I don't know if I'm going to actually be buying this frequently, but I am going to use the heck out of it while I have it right now. Rise and shine, gotta get the day started, sun beaming in my face as the blessings keep falling.